Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I will solve the example problem 5.3 from the book Design and Analysis of Experiments by Montgomery. Here we have three parameters. The firstly, percent carbonation represented by A, operating pressure represented by B, and the line speed represented by C. The percent carbonation has three levels, 10, 12, and 14. Operating pressure has two levels, 25 PSI and 30 PSI, whereas the line speed has two levels, 200 and 250. It's a full factorial design experiment and the number of replications are two. So you can see it here, for at a 10 level of percent carbonation, 200 line speed, and 20, and 20 PSI operating pressure, we have only two replications, minus three and minus one. Similarly, at a setting of, you can see percent correlation 14, line, um, line speed of 250, and operating pressure of PSI at uh, 25 PSI. So you can see it here, seven and six, only two replications. Now, our response variable is fill height deviation. So we want to minimize the deviation in this problem at the end, we will perform the optimization as well and our objective will be the minimization of the response variable. So our first step will be making a full factorial design. To do so, click on stat, DOE, factorial, create a factorial design. Here we have general full factorial design with the number of factors are three then click on design in the design we will have to write the names of the parameters and third one is line speed now we will have to enter the levels percent carbonation has three levels operating pressure two line speed two the number of replications are two as we discussed earlier there is no blocking on the replicates click ok and then and then click on factors in the factors, we will have to enter the values of the levels. For the percent carbonation, we have levels 10, 12, and 14. Likewise, we have operating pressure of 225 and 30 PSI. So we'll write here 25 and 30. And similarly, we have line speed of uh, 200 and 250. So I will write here 200 and 250. The data entry is simply as an Excel, we will do so. Then click on options. So uncheck this randomized run because if you check in, it will be quite difficult for you to do the data entry. Then click OK. In the result, nothing to do. Just click OK and then OK. So you will get the table. In order to view only the data, click here data only. Then slightly maximize it so that it will be easy for you to read it and then enter the data. So here, write the name of the response variable, uh, fill height. Now we will have to do the data entry. For example, the, for the first one we have, you can see it here, the setting is 10, 25, and 200. So we'll go there. You can see it's 10, 25, and 200, and the data is minus three. So we will just enter here, minus three, sorry here minus 3 then for the second one we have 10 25 and 250 so here 10 25 and 250 it is minus 1 so likewise you will have to look for one each and every 10 30 200 so it is obvious then 10 30 200 it is minus 1 and then the next value will be 1 so you can see it here it is 1 and uh, it is minus 1 and 1 sorry so I will write here minus one and then one. So for the next one, 12, 25, 200. So 12, then 25 and 200. So we will have to ignore this second line that is minus one, zero, zero, one because it is for the second replication. So we will enter here zero. So here it becomes zero. Then next one is 12, 25, 250. So 12, 25, and 250 so in front of the zero it because it is two so we will write here two then it is 12 30 so again 12 and then we will talk about this 30 so in the second row it is two and then we will have to enter six 
so i will write here 2 and then 6 then for the next we have 1425 so it is quite obvious that we will have to ignore this fourth one row and we will start with the fifth row it become 5 it is a 5 7 7 10 so 5 then 7 then 7 and then 10 so you can see it here 14 30 250 so 14 30 and 250 it is equal to 10 now you can see it here the second replication has been started 10 25 and 200 again so 10 25 and 200 but this time we will have to enter the data that has been provided in the second row so minus 1 0 0 1 so again we will i will enter here minus one zero zero and one then it is 12 25 200 so 12 25 it's 12 25 and 200 it means now it's the time for the fourth row one one three five so it become here one one three and five now only the last four observations 4, 6, 9, 11. So 4, 6, 9, and 11. This was the most hectic thing I think, uh, I think for you people to enter the data. Once it's done, now it's time to anal analyze. Click on stat, then DOE, factorial, analyze factorial design this time. And here select the response, then click on select. It will move here then click on graphs in the graph select all four in one it is used for checking the assumptions of the ANOVA then click on the results in the results select the expanded tables it will give you the percentage contribution in the storage you will have nothing to do and in the rest of option there is no need to do anything then click OK wait for the result click here to view only the output then go down in order to view the graph that will be used for the an assumption checking these are the residual plots here we can see that the data distribution isn't so good but we assume that the data is followed to be normally distributed then we because uh, we can see it here there are three small bars and two large bars so we are not getting a good graph for our interpretation now we come towards the second graph that is for the residual versus fitted values so you can see it here there is a dashed line in the center of this graph and above this line there are few dots and there's also a dot above this line as well these are the positive residual because you can see it's above zero there are, these are the positive values so these are the positive residuals and below are the negative residuals so you can see it here that the number of positive residuals are somehow equal to the number of negative residuals it means that the assumption of the homogeneity of the variance is satisfied or there is a constant variance in the data now we'll talk about the residual versus observation order so you can see it here there is there are no cyclic patterns there are no trends no upward trends or downward trends there are no uh, uh, five points continuously above or continuously down from the central line so it means that the data is found to be independent then click ok our assumption are satisfied we go up now we'll talk about the preto chart in the preto chart you can see it here this is a vertical dashed line in the red color with a value of 2.18 it is basically the cutoff value or f tabulated value those bars that are crossing this line that are found to be statistically significant so you can see it here a is for a b c these three parameters their main effect is found to be statistically significant however the interaction effect because the factorial design also give us the interaction effect so the interaction effect of a b a b c a b uh, a c these are found to be statistically insignificant then the three way interaction effect of the a b c it is also found to be statistically insignificant and then 
the larger the length of this bar, it means that higher is the significance or percentage contribution of that parameter on the response variable. Then go up and look for the model summary. The model summary explains that 97.47% variation in the fill height deviation has been explained by the three parameters that are pressure, operating pressure, line speed and percent carbonation and their two-way, three-way interactions. You can see it here that the ANOVA table is not full in one window. So for this case, I will perform again the analysis and this time I will uh, change the settings slightly in the results section and I will demand for the simple table because it, it, is, it will be easy for me. So this ANOVA table depicts first of all the linear terms. So the percentage carbonation has a significance effect because the p-value is less than 0.05. Similarly, the operating pressure line speed has the p-values less than 0.05. So all of them are statistically significant. Then two-way interaction. All of the two-way interaction percentage carbonation operating pressure, it is found to be statistically insignificant. Similarly, the percent carbonation versus line speed also insignificant. Operating pressure versus line speed also insignificant. The three-way interaction, percent carbonation, operating pressure and line speed is also found to be statistically insignificant. Now, error. The error doesn't mean any mistake. It means that the 8.5, this is the sum of scale of other factors that are affecting the fill height deviation. Now, we will talk about the main effect plots. To do so, click on stat, doe, factorial, then go to factorial plots. In the factorial plots, you can see first of all, our response variable is fill height deviation. These are the three uh, selected parameters. Go to option. If you want to do add a title, add it. Go to the graph. Yes, I need the main effect plots. The view model, all of the terms have been included. Click close and then OK and wait for the plots. So you can see it here that we have three factors. They have a positive effect on the fill height deviation. If we increase the percent carbonation, the fill height deviation increases because the graph is going to going upward. If we increase the pressure from 20 psi to 30, again, the fill height deviation increases because the graph is going upward. If we increase the line speed from 200 to 250, again, over percent uh, height fill deviation increases, again, the graph is going upward. So all of them has a positive effect. Now, if we come down towards the interaction effect, so you can see it here, none of the two lines are intersecting each other. It means that there is no interaction between the parameters. Now we will do the optimization. Click on stat, then click on DOE, factorial, in the factorial, click on the response optimizer. Our objective is to minimize the deviation. Now click on setup. In the setup, nothing we have to do. In the option, click on restrict to the region because we have provided few values and we need the answer between those values. So you can see line speed, okay. Uh, because we have three values of the percent combination, so we can select the constraint to the region. Confidence interval, it's okay, 95%. Type of confidence level is two-sided, okay. It's all good. Go to the graph. Yes, we need an optimization plot. In the result, we need all the solution, parameter, variable ranges, prediction, storage, nothing to store. Click OK. And the model has been already viewed. Then click OK. So we will get our optimization results. So it the results depicts that the percent carbonation of 10 and operating pressure 25 with a line speed of 200 it will minimize the average fill deviation at a value of minus 2. If we go towards the graph plots, so you can see it here from the main effect plot, our optimal settings are percent carbonation 10, operating pressure 25, line speed 200, so 10, 25, 200, 
the same results 10 25 200 has been also suggested by the optimizer so you can see it here that optimal value the d optimal value is found to be 0 0.9 to 86 that is quite high so that was all about this problem if you have any question call me directly or message me directly on my whatsapp you can also send me email i will try to solve your problem as soon as possible thanks a lot for watching the video have a good day bye